Hello, today I'm going to show you how to play GameCube games on your Wii U. Now in order to do this, you're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need a Wii U with a homebrew channel installed. There are multiple ways to do this, so click on one of the links in the description to watch a video on how to do it. There's the video I made which shows you how to do it using Super Smash Bros. Brawl. There are other methods available, but those also require games so if you don't have any games for your wii u that are wii games that are the, the specific ones that you need then you kind of have to go get those games in order to do this so you're going to need to go to the description and click on the link for the nintendo installation zip this is a zip of all the files that you'll need to do this they're also available on the nintendo website which i'll also put the link in in the description they're just not all in one spot so that's why I have a zip file ready and you'll need you'll see that it has apps and controllers once you open the zip file now you're just gonna go to my computer and open up your removable disk or SD card which is you also need you need some sort of either USB or SD card type file system device something that can store files that's in one of those form factors and once you open that you just select those and drag them over if it says do you want to like merge the folders or rewrite files just let it do that and you'll see you'll have an apps folder and you'll have the controllers folder this will have all the usb controllers this is compatible with a bunch of different controllers such as the gamecube adapter for the wii u which is what i'll be using it also easily works with the classic controller or classic controller pro it apparently works with the wii u pro controller i've never gotten it to work with that so good luck if you that's the only controller you have it does not work with the wii u gamepad i don't know if you can just use a standalone wii remote i think you can use a wii remote and nunchuck i'm not sure but yeah it uses if you have the gamecube controller adapter it works with like the third party ones and it's also just gotten back in stock on Nintendo's website, so that's probably the best way to play GameCube games. So, the games, you'll need to make a folder called Games. See, it's called Games. It's not called something else. Inside that folder, you're going to make another folder for each game. So, for this game, this is Pokemon Coliseum. Don't put spaces. I don't remember if it requires no spaces or not. Just don't put them. We'll just, if, if it does, let you use spaces, hurrah. If it doesn't, guess what? You have to rewrite the file again. Now inside that folder, you're gonna name it game.iso. Not Pokemon.iso, game.iso. Has to be an ISO. It can be compressed, it cannot be compressed. I mean, one of those two options. I don't know how to compress ISOs, and apparently there's better compatibility with uncompressed ISOs, so just put it on there. And if you need to know how to get games, I will in the future make a video on how to rip GameCube games into ISO files. I'll put the link in the description, I'll probably put the annotation up now if that video is out yet. I have not made that video yet, so if it's not out, well, it doesn't exist yet. Um, if you want to download games, go do that. So now we're all ready to to put this in the Wii U. So now that you have your Wii U on, you're going to want to go to the Wii menu. Okay, so now go to the Homebrew channel and open it up. If you haven't already, once it's open, put the USB media device or the SD card into your Wii. Open up Nintendo. You can just hit A on a Wii remote and hit load. Now that Nintendo is open, you're going to want to choose either SD if you put your games on an SD card or USB if you put your games on a USB device. Once you choose your media, you're going to want to go to the settings by hitting B on the Wii remote. Um, the settings you're going to want to turn on are memory card emulation because you can't insert a memory card. You're going to want to turn on force widescreen, force progressive, and Wii widescreen. That'll make it so the games will fill the entire screen on your HD television. 
if the games stop working for some reason, like if you try a new game, it doesn't work, turn off the widescreen setting. Now you're going to want to hit B to go back to the games list, and then hit A on one of your games. Use the D-pad to navigate. It will load the game, and if on that thing it says Bluetooth, you, it has decided to use a wireless controller. If it does not say Bluetooth anywhere on there, it's using a wired controller such as the GameCube controller that I'm using right now. You're going to hit yes to switch the display mode to progressive scan. This will show up on games that natively support the feature. And it will load. And I'll fast forward to the part where you can see the widescreen working. But yeah, that's that's about it. You can play your GameCube games on your Wii U using this feature and not the other video method I showed you before, which is just idiotic. This is actually a usable method. You see right here on the menu screen, it's doing widescreen and I'll fast forward to actually in game when it does widescreen. So thanks for watching. Make sure to read the description to see if there are any updates to the video, such as a new version came out or there's a mistake I made. I will put the information about that in the description. So thanks for watching. Make sure to comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. This is the Nintendo Inc. signing off.